Hey guys, so now I'll just show you how this looks at the tables. Um, I just have it set to a small table uh, because I usually have mine tiled in six tables. So this is the layout I use as Mercury, um, and this is the, how I have it set up. I put the opening up here, the defending down here, um, and then the post flop stats here in the middle. One of the things that we took out was the dividing of the preflop section by stack depth. And so instead, we, we added them as pop-ups. And so you can click on any section, like here I clicked on the button, and it'll pop up with 17 plus, 11 to 17, and 6 to 11 as depths. And you can do the same thing for the small blind. So over here, if I click on the small blind, we know that this player played 100% in the small blind so far, and he limped. Um, you can do the exact same thing with the defending spots, so small blind versus big blind. I don't have any stats on this player right now, um, but they show up like this. Uh, here, I have one, this, this player had the opportunity to ISO from the small blind because a button limps. So obviously that doesn't count towards his VPIP, but it's the opportunity for him to ISO. You can do the same thing with big blind versus button. Oh, I should lock this. Uh, big blind versus button. And then big blind versus small blind. Um, another nice feature that you have is the uh, stack depths. So you can set the stack depths to tell you the blinds of each player. And also in the stack depths, you have the three-handed pusher and caller ranges and the heads-up pusher and caller ranges. And the last thing you have here is the number of total hands you have on the player, any notes that you would have on the player. Uh, from PT4 section, uh, overall VPIP, three-handed, um, overall attempt to steal, and overall fold to steal, and overall three bet. Uh, the last thing I'll show you in the next section is what you should do uh, when you first get the HUD. Um, you need to rebuild the cache in your PT4 database, uh, the custom cache. Um, and also one last thing is the, the color coding is split into three colors, so it's PokerStars compliant. Um, you have green for the less aggressive action. Um, white is middling and then red is the, the more aggressive action. Okay, I'll wait till this is done and then I'll, I'll show you what you need to do in PT4 when you first import the HUD.